Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Ali and we're here at my clinic, Coquitlam Family Chiropractic. And today we're going to be reviewing three different rebounders, the three best that I could find at the equivalent price on the market. So come on over with me, we're going to check these out. Over here, the first rebounder we have is called the Rebound Air. And uh, this is a rebounder that I've owned for about three years and been using it consistently. And based on my research at the time, I thought this is the best one. But today we have two other rebounders that have been on the market for about 20 years for each of them. And in the middle here, we have the Cellucizer. And this is an excellent rebounder. And uh, so we're going to try this one as well. And then over here, this is probably the most popular rebounder in the world. And it's called the Nidac. And uh, so this is a great rebounder. We're going to try this one out too. Okay, so right now I'm on the Rebound Air. And uh, this is one I've owned for three years. And it has given me zero problems. And I really liked it. And I really didn't have anything to compare it to. But now that I've tried these other ones, I can tell you three things that I don't particularly like about it. One is that if you look closely, the base, uh, the ring here is made of plastic, which is very sturdy, but with anything being plastic, it can break. So if you had this, if you're traveling with this, and God forbid, like if, you, if it fell, uh, it could break. So that's one thing I don't like about it. The other thing is, it's, as you can hear, it's kind of noisy, especially if you step over on the edge. It makes this, this kind of weird sound, so it is the loudest of the three that we have today. And the other thing is, um, it's the least bounce. For if you gave the same energy, it provides the least bounce out of the three. Um, but other than that, it's, it's pretty good. It's given me lots of good use. Um, so let's head, head over here and we'll check out this one. This is called the Stalucizer. Now, one thing you'll notice about it is that it does also make a bit of noise. But from what I've heard, if you put some oil on the springs, that quiets it, quiets it down totally. So we haven't tried that yet. So with noise aside, uh, it does give me more bounce than this one. And the other thing that I like about it is that it's got a metal frame and it's very sturdy. And it's lighter too. And it's more portable. So if you want to take this outside on a sunny day or just put it, uh, take it with you to the beach or whatever, it's more portable. Um, the other thing that I like about it is it does come with this cover for the springs that we I just took off so we could compare the springs here. But So that does look a little bit nicer. It gives you a bit of protection here too in case you step on the springs. So it's a nice added feature. The other thing is the price of all three of these is roughly the same. Uh, they do range a little bit but they're about between three and four hundred bucks depending on where you buy it online. Um, so definitely shop around to get the best price. So the other, the other benefit of this rebounder is, um, if you look closely, the springs are the most advanced out of any rebounder out on the market today because they're triple tapered. You can see these ones have a certain diameter and then these three rings have a smaller diameter and then these three th springs have even a smaller diameter. Um, and according to the company, they're digitally tuned. So what that means is all the springs are the same, um, they'll have the exact same uh, like springiness to them. And so th these are the best springs by far and they last forever apparently. Nobody's ever returned the, uh, the springs. You never have to replace them. That's why this rebounder will last you forever. Um, so that's, a, that's definitely a good benefit of this. It's metal. The springs aren't going to wear out. Um, the mat, it doesn't mold. It's made of a special material. You can have this outside forever. Uh, but yeah, so let's head over onto this one. This is called the Nidac. This has been on the market probably the longest. It's the most popular rebounder. Um, as you can hear, it's very, very quiet. Um, the, 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 big, the biggest benefit of this rebounder is it has, in my opinion, uh, the best bounce by far out of any of these. Um, and, uh, and it comes in different colors too, so you can get this blue one, which is nice. The downside of this is that these springs are, um, they're not the highest quality in the world. They do wear out, and even the company admits that you have to replace the springs every two years. Uh, which sounds like a big deal, but we just called the manufacturer and they said it was, doesn't actually cost that much for the spring. So to replace all of them is probably, um, apparently maybe a dollar a spring, uh, up to a hundred bucks. So it depends where you have to get them. Um, but uh, 
But I do like the, the spring in this the best. You're probably wondering where to, get, where to buy these online, and the website that I found to be the most helpful is called healthytrampolines.com. They have tons of videos on all the different rebounders, all three of these, and other ones that you can get. So it's a great resource and a um, great place to get them. Just to recap again, this is called the Rebound Air. Great rebounder over here. We have the Cellusizer and then the Nidac. My personal favorite for bounce is the Nidac, but in terms of durability, longevity, I would probably get the Cellusizer.